Hi people, so as I was editing um, the modesty video, not exactly uh, editing but going through it, the changes that I wanted to highlight before I release this one, following or following it up, is that I understand that as women especially, you know these days it's both genders, but as women especially, uh, clothes and our bodies, you know, like the shape of our clothes. What am I trying to say? Um, if you like someone, it's natural for a woman to dress a certain way, right? So I don't want to neglect the fact that sometimes clothes are used to for bad intentions, for the wrong intentions. With that in mind, there are also people who do it specifically for fashion with no wrong intention. So the reason why I feel like um, I'm a bit hesitant to release or I was a bit hesitant because if you're watching this it means that I've released it is because I have a mix of collective changes of thought. Not that I do not condone Okay, that's a strong, that's a weird word, but I don't have an issue with uh, sexiness in dressing because obviously I'm interested in fashion and so is everyone around me. So for me, it feels naturally like it's a normal thing, but I do understand how people could use it for the wrong things. So when you're listening to this, I want you to keep that in mind and I also want you to remember that um, there are places where you cannot dress a certain way due to safety reasons because obviously you cannot force people to be open-minded to the fact that um, it's not about them like how you dress your body is not about them for some people it's basically about other people but I'm saying for most people who just dress up for their own pleasure it's not about the entire world right but we have made it about the entire world and also the fact that dressing is relative for example the way you dress in Africa is not the way you dress in Hollywood and that's not to mean that uh, there are people who are in Hollywood who are not okay with that but I feel like your environment also determines how you see us how you perceive things you know like there are people who don't have issues with a certain form of dressing because they have grown up around it and there are people who have an issue about it because of the environment they have grown up in it's the same way like um no i won't use that example because i feel it's it feels insensitive or cancel culture is going to find an excuse to come for me <laughs> thankfully uh, that's not my problem right now but yeah, so uh, I wanted just for people to keep that in mind that despite the fact that we are open-minded, some of us, not all of us, are open-minded to the fact that the way we dress our bodies is not about the entire world. It's just for our own pleasure. It's a form of art, a form of expression. Not everyone perceives it like that. There are people who see, especially, <laughs> I don't want to give exclusivity in this judgment because I feel like obviously I'm in some sort of way I'm forced to judge but I feel like sometimes people look at people dressing for their own pleasure for fashion and they assume it's about them it's about uh, attacking them in some sort of way how I don't know but you know <laughs> a body is powerful especially a female body uh, like this activist who used her body to fight for the rights of, you know, to fight for the plantation of trees. The message is that self-control has always been the major issue that people have been ignoring. And we can see it clearly because right now it's not even affecting just females, it's affecting baby boys, and I mean kids, like in the past few days. I've had reports of a three-year-old and a five-year-old boy and it's like it's so sad you know there are things you get so enraged by that it goes beyond material the material you place on your body 
and you know if as human beings we refuse to look past these artificial things and we keep finding excuses to let these criminals get away with stuff when we allow people you know to get away with abuse because they are standing on pulpits or get away with abuse because a woman was dressed in a certain way they're going to come for kids and you know in napkins in pampers and make it an excuse so it's up to us up to you and up to me to make this issue highlighted you get the criminals need to be responsible they need to be held responsible for their actions it does not matter if a male or a female walks completely dirty naked in the streets if someone has no self control and you know people make a lot of excuses about self control but if you have self control when it comes to your parent you're not sleeping with your parent that means you have a slither of self control in you you get it although these days people don't even have respect for their parents because their kids literally abusing their parents and parents are kids so Let's stop making clothes, material things, an issue, and make what people are not taking responsibility for the issue. Because the issue is self-control. The issue is not how people are dressing. The issue is not how people are drunk. Even though people take advantage, so please also be aware of your environment. You know, don't allow yourself to be vulnerable in consideration of all these things. Be aware that despite the fact that we live in a beautiful world, we also live in a devil's world, right? Like people want to do whatever they want to do and people get away with it especially when they have a certain status in life. Uh like uh I was listening to this uh should like like talk show and this woman who fights for the rights of women is the foundation. and you can hear the things she goes through just to help out these people so i feel as a community our responsibility is to do what we can to support the people who are in the circle of helping people make and also if you cannot contribute like let's say if you cannot contribute financially you cannot support these foundations that are rescuing people even in slave trafficking i feel like you need to speak up And if you can do both please do if you're on a platform that you can speak up and your voice is heard please do don't allow people to get away with saying things like they did this and that because someone was drunk intoxicated or someone dressed a certain way like that's that's foolishness I'm sorry for using strong words but I'm so passionate about this issue that I feel like at some point we all need maybe at some point we need to start uh doing activist things literally you know like get out and dress how we want and get out on the streets until it is clear that the issue is not how people dress the issue is people lacking self control kids are going to school being abused like do you want to tell me that the uniform is too short huh like seriously like common sense don't touch people who are not who have not given their bodies to you. whether it's your partner if your partner says no it's a no you know like it does not matter who it is let's make people responsible accountable for their actions let's stop allowing people to get away with uh dumb excuses because that's a dumb excuse if you allow people to if you allow yourself or someone close to you to get away with words like or statements like they deserve to because they dressed a certain way or they used because they spoke a certain way like no one has a right to raise a hand on anyone you know female or male and no one has a right to abuse anyone female or male whether you're on a pulpit whether you have um whether you're the leader of this or whatever you are like god is above us all we are all accountable to god god is the king you know like god is the pro of the pros so no one has a right to get away with anything god does not allow to happen and i feel like 
if we keep ignoring this, you know, justice has a way of finding its way. You cannot hold down justice. At some point, it's going to come like a wild animal. Let's speak the truth. Because people are living, uh, right now people are living in a society where everyone is so enraged because no justice is being served. And if this keeps on being consistent, I'm telling you, the rage keeps increasing. People keep reacting, you know. Now we see like schools getting burnt down and people don't want to dig in and check why are kids burning down schools. It's not just that they are bored with school. It's nothing like that. There are deeper issues. No one just wakes up and does these wild things for no reason. So let's dig deep. Let's speak up where we need to speak up. Let's stand up for what we need to stand up, even if it makes you uncomfortable, even if a shortcut makes you uncomfortable. Please don't make it the reason why criminals get away with abusing people. Three-year-old kids, five-year-olds, a child who does not even know how to speak their own names. Like, <sighs> seriously, people, I could speak about this issue for the rest of my life i hope i don't have to because i'm praying that god somehow brings a solution and that justice finally works so that you know instead of speaking about these things we can speak about other things but unfortunately we have to speak about these things because the more people are keeping quiet the more people are getting hurt and it's going to all ages <sighs> ay, ay, ay. this world people like use your voice use your voice because like Martin Luther said injustice anywhere is injustice everywhere if you allow it even a pint size of injustice anywhere whether it is in your house your kaploti or in your community or whatever you make that issue increase you need to place like stand your ground and say no to things that aren't right. If you see that something is wrong, please stand up and speak out.